Mahler, Rush, Jenny, and Josie. The Morning Hot Tub. The new Hot 89.9. Josie normally comes in on the 40s with Josie in the city. Right. Uh, she'll be here at 840, <laughs> and you got some great scoop coming up. Mm-hmm. Yesterday, in the middle of the afternoon, she emails me a link. She goes, we have to talk about this on the show. I'm like, oh, cool. It must be sure. something Hollywood. Right. Something about uh, Brad and Angelina. Yeah. You know, something about Lindsay Lohan or uh-huh. Miley Cyrus, something big, mm-hmm. topical. So she sends me this link, and I guess I just have to say what it is. Okay. It's, 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 it's a book, right? Yes. It's a book. A cookbook. Are you? And have you ordered this yet? Yes. You, you ordered it now. <laughs> yes. You've given them your visa number? Yes. Okay. So when's it's the, legitimate. When, when is the book getting here? Oh, I don't know. Probably seven days or less. I don't know. It's costing her, according to this, $24.95. Yes. Mm-hmm. It's 61 pages. Mm-hmm. It says perfect bi- uh, binding, full color interior ink. Mm-hmm. So it looks like a well-made book. That's yes. good. The title of the book is Natural Harvest. Okay. Not, okay. Not bad. Yeah. Not, actually, there's a subtitle as well. So it's Natural Harvest. Yeah. And underneath, a collection of semen-based recipes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Shut up. Mm-hmm. Josie! <laughs> now, I'll give you the description on the website. <laughs> Semen is not only nutritious, sure. but it also has a wonderful texture and amazing cooking uh, properties. <laughs> Like fine wine and cheeses, the taste of semen is complex and dynamic. Mm-hmm. Semen is inexpensive to produce and is commonly available in many, if not most, <laughs> homes and restaurants. <laughs> Despite all these positive qualities, semen remains neglected as a food. It does. Yeah. This book hopes to change that. Mm-hmm. Once you overcome any initial hesitation, you'll be surprised to learn how wonderful semen is in the kitchen. <laughs> semen is an exciting ingredient that can give every dish you make an interesting twist. Oh. If you're a passionate cook and you're not afraid to experiment with new ingredients, you will love this cookbook. I never <laughs> thought girls believed the, hey, it's good for you. It's nutritious. Right. It's good for your skin. Mm. I never thought girls believed let's, that. Let's, let's let's take a step back. How did you find this yeah. book? <laughs> uh, okay. What were you okay, Googling? Honestly, a girlfriend of mine is doing research for her job mm-hmm. and came across where, where does she that work? That link. <laughs> The and so cookbook. at a, an agency in Toronto. Okay. And uh, so <laughs> One she of came those across kind of agencies? this right. link and sent it out to, you know, her girlfriends so that we could all be aware Ooh. of a cookbook based around semen. <laughs> well, and as cool. disturbing as that is, yeah. and it's not just one, re- many recipes well, in the book. Okay. 61 pages. On the cover. Oh, oh, no. I don't even know what the hell this is. Jenny, what is that? <laughs> oh my god! What is that? I don't know. It kind of looks like Rush. Come over here, please. I don't think I want to. <laughs> like it looks like, like creme some, it looks like creme brulee yeah. with a glaze, with a glaze, or some sort of noodle dish. <laughs> What's the white? Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to look at that. <laughs> no, I want to know how you collect it. <laughs> what do you save it? So do you refrigerate? You, so your your man, well, your man at home. Do you say, okay, well, we're gonna have dinner tonight? I need you to go in the bathroom and. <laughs> I think basically, yes. I think it would be like going in and donating this is, sperm. This is, this no, is you, awful. You know, oh. it'd be the exact same sort of thing. You'd have to put it in a cup and then... You hang on, hang on. We have you, somebody online too. Oh. Yeah. Steph apparently knows people who cook with semen. Shut up. Real, now that, Steph, I, have, I don't know anyone who actually Steph. has done it. Steph, are you there? Hi. Hi. Yes, I'm there. Hi. So um, I actually do know people who cook with semen. I learned of this uh, last summer at a barbecue. They're <laughs> vegan, so they can't have eggs. So they were talking about pancakes that they make with semen in the morning. (laughs) (laughs) Like like their own? Yeah, yeah, their own semen, and that's what they cook with. Instead of using (laughs) eggs that are made from chickens that they don't want to eat, well, they use semen in the morning that they cook. Don't want to use chicken <laughs> eggs. Okay. That would be gross. Steph, Steph. <laughs> yeah. I get that. Steph, did you try the pancakes? No, no I oh, did not. I, no, no, no. Okay. Mm, mm, I'm not mm, going to mm. get any near, any near, anywhere near my mouth. I'm sorry. So you haven't gone to their well, place for like breakfast or anything or lunch tried, or dinner for I that matter? To, I tried to get my brother. He was making some kind of dish and he didn't have eggs on my parents' house. And I said, just use your sperm. And he was like, no. Are you <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Can you imagine mom and dad walking in the kitchen? Hey mom, good morning. Start <laughs> making breakfast. We're out of eggs. <laughs> I improvise. <laughs> All right, thanks, wow. Steph. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. Well, and you, you're going to try this? Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Is your no, boyfriend you are gonna, not. Is your boyfriend going to eat 
The I haven't I haven't run it past him yet. And I don't know if he's going to be able well, to. Well, it's one of those things that you're really oh going to have to. Yeah, because where else are you going to get yeah. your ingredient from? Yeah. Maybe I'll have to go to the hotties. I don't know if anybody <laughs> wants to. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I mean, I guarantee you, <laughs> you won't have any trouble <laughs> finding what, I mean, we know our hotties pretty uh, you well. You know what? I, there is somebody. a vegan community in Ottawa. I don't think they clearly, have to be vegan. Clearly, they're okay with it. I'll go talk to them. Maybe they even sell it in health food stores for all I know. They're you know, right. unknown semen, you would just eat anyone's semen. <laughs> Oh, that's oh, yeah. and Josie, I don't know about that actually. They yeah. don't sell it at health food stores. <laughs> they maybe, do not. maybe they sell it in the back. You know, oh, I mean, right. it's like in a van in yeah. an alley. <laughs> you, you give the store owner a little wink, and then you go back to the semen section. Right. I'll tell you what, though, you can uh, ask Kenny B, and I'm sure he'd be over at your house anytime <laughs> to help you out. Kenny's probably left some in here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. we'll just, <laughs> Get one of those UV lights and we'll find it. Oh. Wait a second. Hey, tell me, Kenny offered me a cookie yesterday. <laughs> I, I don't know if I feel right about that. Oh, dear. All right. So once again, for those oh. people disturbed like Josie, it's called Natural Harvest, a collection of semen-based recipes. Oh, my God. You can order it online for 25 bucks, And it looks like 61 pages. I'm assuming 61 <laughs> recipes in there. But when you get the book, you got to bring it in studio. Oh, I will. Oh, I will. It's probably 120-some pages. They're just stuck together. <laughs> <laughs>